Welcome to a demonstration of decisive quick find. So what is quick find? Well, first and foremost, it's a simple to use search aggregator that allows you to launch searches against any number of sources from a single point on your Windows desktop. Quick find works with any open search compliant source, allowing it to connect to and pass a query to the source, after which the results will be displayed in their native environment. Queries in Quick Find can be launched from plugins that are available in the Windows Taskbar, the Windows Explorer, or Microsoft Office, as well as from a floating toolbar on the Windows desktop. And finally, Quick Find is simple to install and configure, with search sources being defined in a standardized and modular XML file format. So why don't we go ahead now and take a look at how Quick Find actually works. Here we have the Quick Find toolbar on the Windows taskbar with a number of search sources defined, including decisive documents, matters, people, and so forth. By clicking a specified hotkey combination, I can bring up the floating toolbar as well. I'm going to select the document source and search for executive compensation. What happens in this case is that Quick Find passes my query off to the document source in my decisive enterprise search system, and the results are returned from decisive within my browser. I can now interact with these results the same way I would if I had launched the search in a traditional way. So I mentioned earlier that Quick Find was also available from within Microsoft Office, which is what we see here. From within Word, I can highlight a search term, select the Quick Find source to search against, and launch my search directly from the Office application. Again, the results are returned in my browser, just like any other search in my decisive system. What I'm going to show you now is how we can use shortcuts to select a source. Rather than select the matter source from the pop-up menu, I'm going to simply type in M followed by my search term. M is the shortcut defined for matters and tells Quick Find to search that source. So once we do this, now we see results returned from the matters tab in Decisive, just like we did for documents. So let's go ahead and select people now, and I'm going to go ahead and search for wireless contract. So again, the results are returned in my browser, and now if we wanted to, we could go ahead and take a closer look at William Deverell here to see what he really knows about this topic. So what if we want to get a little more complex in our search and have it, say, automatically apply a filter or something like that? We can do that actually pretty easily in the Quick Find Source configuration, and we'll actually go ahead and take a look at that now. I'm going to go ahead and select My Stuff from the source selection, which is a document search with the author name Marcos Wiseman already applied. So when I search for labor, only documents matching that criteria and authored by Marcos are returned. We can do this type of pre-filtering for any source using any number of filter criteria. Let's take a look at another example of this, but this time we'll point Quick Find at our Microsoft SharePoint source and have it filter to return only content that actually resides in SharePoint. Searching for contract returns only SharePoint content matching this criteria. So what's more, we see the results returned within SharePoint itself using decisive SharePoint integration web parts. A final example of advanced searching with Quick Find is an email search. Here I'm telling Quick Find to search for all email related to my client Bridgestone. The results in this case are limited to email from our decisive email repository and they're returned using the decisive online web client. They could just as easily have been returned via the standard decisive search interface as well. Let's take a look now at Quick Find's ability to launch non-recommind searches. I'll select FindLaw as my source, which of course launches a search against FindLaw's website. So just as with internal sources, I can search external sources from a single point exactly as if I had gone directly to the website first. A more specialized external source might be something like a patent search against the Google Patents database. So let's go ahead and do that now and we'll search for touchscreen and see what we get. So as expected, lots of patents on touchscreen technology. This is great for research. So what I'll do now is search for images on Bing and see if I can maybe find some pictures of the new Fisker Automotive electric car. There it is. Hmm, not a bad looking car. A question that comes up a lot is what about my desktop content? Can Quick Find search it? So while Quick Find doesn't index the content, the answer is yes, because Quick Find can pass a search off to Windows Search, just as we've seen it do with other sources. So what I'll do here is I'll select Windows as my source and search for Decisive, and now we see the results return from Windows within the normal Windows search results interface. 
This really shows how QuickFind is a one-stop shop for launching search queries. To finish up, let's have QuickFind help us with a question. I'll bring up my floating toolbar and select Google as my source, and let's ask it, what is the meaning of life? So while I'm not expecting a single profound answer here, we do see that our general Google search does point us to a number of resources that might be able to help us philosophically. I wonder how Wikipedia actually defines the meaning of life. Hmm. That concludes our quick find demonstration. Thanks for watching.